Hi there. Have you guys heard the news? Google is taking on the most powerful AI model in the world, OpenAI's ChatGPT. They invested a large sum of money to develop an OpenAI Challenger, which is a crazy big move. Want to find out what the implications are of such powerful AI models? And how Google is planning to become the top dog of the AI industry? Then keep watching till the end of the video. Let's jump right in. So recently, Google announced that they would be investing a $300 million in an OpenAI Challenger. This challenge is designed to take on ChatGPT, the most powerful AI model currently available. But this isn't just about outdoing their competitors. Google is also focusing on AI safety, recognizing the importance of ensuring that these models are aligned with human intentions. The company that Google is partnering with on this project is called Anthropic. Anthropic is actually an AI research startup founded in 2020 by Dario Amode, the former VP of research at OpenAI. He was accompanied by several former OpenAI employees, among whom was the former policy lead, Jack Clark. The split occurred due to a disagreement between Amode and OpenAI regarding the company's direction, particularly its increasingly commercial focus. As some of you may know, this is a concern that Elon Musk has recently voiced as well. Anthropic aims to raise up to $5 billion over the next two years to enter over a dozen major industries and take on its rival OpenAI. They disclosed their long-term goals for the company in a pitch deck for its Series C fundraising round. In the deck, Anthropic says it plans to spend a whopping $1 billion over the next 18 months to build a frontier model that will be 10 times more capable than today's most powerful AI which is, of course, GPT-4. Let me repeat that once more for you. Ten times more powerful than GPT-4. Can you imagine that? But what does this mean for the AI industry? It means that the race is really going to heat up. While OpenAI currently has a monopoly on the most powerful AI in the world, Anthropic could potentially catch up and surpass them. Google's investment in this company means that they're ramping up the rate at which this AI is developed, and if Anthropic does develop faster than OpenAI, they could very well catch them. But how are they going to do that? Well, before we get into that, we just want to ask you to hit the like and subscribe button because the AI that controls the YouTube algorithm needs that to boost our video. So Anthropic plans to build a next-gen algorithm for AI self-teaching called Claude Next, which makes reference to an AI training technique it developed called Constitutional AI. At a high level, constitutional AI seeks to provide a way to align AI with human intentions. According to Anthropic, Claude is much less likely to produce harmful outputs, easier to converse with, and more steerable. Now that sounds promising, doesn't it? Their frontier model could be used to build virtual assistants that can answer emails, perform research, generate art, books, and more some of which we have already gotten a taste of with the likes of GPT-4 and other large language models. The pitch deck reads, These models could begin to automate large portions of the economy. We believe that companies that train the best 2025-26 models will be too far ahead for anyone to catch up in subsequent cycles. In other words, whichever company has the best AI model by 2025 to 2026 will dominate the industry. And the rate at which the progression is going, it's unlikely that anyone will be able to catch up. How crazy is that? But Google isn't one to back down from a challenge. They recently merged with DeepMind as Alphabet plans to take on OpenAI's ChatGPT. By unifying their forces, they hope to see exactly how far they can take it. And with Claude Next and Claude in development, it's clear that Google is not messing around. Of course, there are some concerns about the relationship between Google and Anthropic. While Google only has a 10% stake in the company, some speculate that they could eventually acquire majority shares if they're not able to fix BARD, their current AI model. This would allow them to expedite the process and integrate it into all of their products. So what does all of this mean for us? As consumers, it means that we're going to see some incredible advancements in AI technology. It also means that we need to start thinking about the implications of AI. As for the future of the AI industry, only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, Google is making some big moves, and we can't wait to see what they come up with next. It's an exciting time to be an AI enthusiast, that's for sure.
What are your thoughts on Google's investment in Anthropic and the development of Claude Next? Do you think they have what it takes to catch up to open AI and dominate the industry? Let us know in the comments. Can't get enough of AI? Here are some awesome videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the world of AI. Thanks for watching.